dear viewers greetings this present video is about the bacterial plasma membrane the bacterial plasma membrane is also called as cytoplasmic membrane or cell membrane and it acts as a boundary of the bacterial cell uh, it separates the interior of the bacterial cell from the outside environment and it measures about 5 to 10 nanometer thick and semi permeable in nature uh, the major component uh, in the uh, bacterial plasma membrane is the phospholipid and the plasma membrane is made up of the phospholipid bilayer. In prokaryotes, the plasma membrane is made up of phospholipids of 20 to 30 percentage and proteins of 60 to 70 percentage. Uh, phospholipids, the phospholipids are amphipathic in nature. Uh, amphipathic means that is a type of uh, molecules, particularly uh, the proteins having the water loving hydrophilic and water hating hydrophobic forts. So the phospholipids are having the hydrophilic heads that is the water loving part and the hydrophobic tails that is the water hating part. Because of the presence of both hydrophobic and the hydrophilic parts in the phospholipids, the phospholipid is referred as the amphipathic in nature. And the phospholipids measure about 8 nanometer in thickness. And this is the fluid mosaic model uh, structure of the plasmids. The lipid bilayer is the major component. Here the blue color represents the phospholipid bilayer uh, with the polar head, hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. So the majority of the portion of the plasma membrane is made up of the phospholipids. Here the head portion of the phospholipid are uh, mentioned in blue color. And next to through that, it have uh, uh, two types of membrane proteins. Uh, one is the integral protein. And this is the integral protein. The integral proteins are also called as the transmembrane proteins, uh, which have the channel proteins as well as force for the transportation of molecules. By this way, the molecules are easily transported. And the another type of protein present in this uh, in the cell membrane is the peripheral proteins which are loosely attached to the phospholipid bilayer. And, up, and uh, apart from the membrane proteins like integral protein and uh, uh, peripheral protein, the plasma membrane also contains uh, glycolipids that is the carbohydrate lipids and the glycoproteins that is the carbohydrate proteins. Uh, this is the uh, overall structure of the fluid mosaic model of the plas plasma membrane. And this is this part is a cytoplasm. Uh, the plasma membrane is present outside the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm, plasma membrane, outside the plasma membrane, cell wall. This is the ultrastructure of the bacterial cell. The dynamic arrangement of uh, proteins and phospholipids in the plasma membrane is called as fluid mosaic model. Uh, the fluid mosaic model of the uh, cell membrane was first discovered in the year 1974 by the scientist Jonathan Singer and Garth Nicholson. And among the various structures proposed by the various scientists, uh, the most accepted hypothesis of the ultra structure, sorry, uh, hypothesis of the plasma membrane structure is the fluid mosaic model structure. Uh, the fluid mosaic model name is derived from the fact that the phospholipids in the plasma membrane or in the fluid state and the proteins are dispersed among the lipid molecules in the membrane and looks like forming a mosaic pattern. So combining the fluid pattern and mosaic pattern, that is the fluid pattern of phospholipids and mosaic patterns of protein and lipids. The combinedly, they both referred as the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane. And the composition of the fluid mosaic model of the cell membrane includes the first and major component of the bacterial cell membrane is the phospholipids. Next to phospholipids, uh, the membrane proteins like uh, peripheral proteins and integral proteins or transmembrane proteins are present. And along with the phospholipids and membrane proteins, glycoproteins and glycolipids are also present in the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane. First one is the membrane protein, peripheral protein. Uh, it is connected to the membrane and easily removed by mild treatment because uh, the peripheral proteins are loosely attached into the phospholipid bilayer so it can be easily removed from the 
uh, cell membrane and it lies at the inner and outer surface of the membrane and it is soluble in aqueous solution and makes up to 20 to 30 percentage of the total membrane protein. The small amount of uh, peripheral protein uh, only present in the uh, cell membrane and it functions as, uh, as an enzyme that catalyzes the chemical reaction as a scaffold for support and as mediator of changes in membrane shape during the movement. Uh, that's all about the peripheral proteins. The next is the integral proteins. The integral proteins can be removed from the membrane only after disturbing the bilayer by using uh, various uh, detergents. It is not easily removed by the aqueous solutions. It requires the detergents for its removal from the phospholipid bilayer. And it is not soluble in aqueous solution and forms above 70 to 80 percentage of the total membrane proteins. The most integral proteins penetrate the membrane completely and they are called as uh, the transmembrane proteins uh, which have the channel proteins the, and the channel proteins have also have the pores that pores helps in the transportation of the various nutrients into the battery cells. Next the glycoprotein and glycolipids. Uh, many of the proteins and some of the lipids on the outer membrane of the plasma membrane have carbohydrate attached to them. The proteins attached to the carbohydrates are called as the glycoproteins and the lipids attached to the carbohydrates are called as uh, glycolipids. The both the glycolipids and the glycoproteins uh, helps to protect the bacterial cell and the lubricate the bacterial cell which are uh, involved during the cell to cell interactions. Next is the cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol is uh, usually not present in the prokaryotic uh, cell membrane. The cholesterol is usually present in the eukaryotic cell membrane. Uh, in few bacteria such as uh, mycoplasma uh, have the cholesterol molecule in their cell membrane uh, as like the eukaryotes uh, because uh, mycoplasma lacks the cell wall. Uh, so the cholesterol mole uh, molecules add rigidity to their cell membrane and prevents the mycoplasma from various factors. So among the prokaryotes, the mycoplasma cell membrane alone have the cholesterol and the cholesterol is absent in other prokaryotic cell membranes because the presence of cholesterol is one of the important characteristic feature of the eukaryotic cell membrane only. Usually it is absent in prokaryotes except mycoplasma species. And next the functions of uh, plasma membrane. The plasma membrane uh, performs various functions in the bacterial cell. It includes, uh, it acts as a mechanical boundary of the cell and protects the bacterial cell from various uh, external sources. The second, the site of ATP synthesis is the, in the bacteria is plasma membrane. Uh, usually the electron transport, uh, usually the electron transport chain reaction takes place in the plasma membrane. Usually in eukaryotes, this, uh, this reaction takes place in the mitochondria, which is referred as the power of the cell. In prokaryotes, mitochondria are absent. So uh, the electron transport chain reaction takes place in the plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane is the site of ATP synthesis in bacteria. The third function is the cell to cell interaction and communication. And the plasma membrane is semi-permeable in nature and it is involved in the transport of substances, particularly the nutrient and waste transport. The entry of nutrients from outside to inside the cell and the, and the excretion of wastes within the cell to outside the bacterial cell. And the pigments and enzymes responsible for the photosynthesis reaction are present in the cell membrane because usually the chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis. Uh, of the photosynthesis, uh, usually the chloroplast is present only in the plants and the algae, but it is absent in photosynthetic bacteria. In this case, the enzymes and pigments responsible for the photosynthetic reaction are present in the cell membrane. And the, finally, the, fun the important function is the exocytosis and endocytosis, which includes the phagocytosis process and the pinocytosis process. Phagocytosis process means it is the process of cell eating and pinocytosis process means it is the process of uh, cell drinking. So that's all about the plasma membrane. Thank you for the listening and patience. Thank you.